All right. Good morning. Good morning. I'm, I, yeah, I figured I figured out another way. <laughs> this this is the way. So I'm gonna give y'all opportunity to jump back on there. All right. Unable to go live. That's no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Get out of here. All right, so come on. There you go. All right, I'm going to let y'all get here. Come on, let y'all get on in. Let y'all get in. There's, there's, a, there's a will. Come on, where there's a will, there's a way. Where there's a will, there is a way. Come on. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Do me a favor. All right, text text everybody. Let them know. Uh, Pastor Steve flipped over that thing and went live on Facebook. So the YouTube and the, and the app are not available. And the reason why... Uh, I did it this way is because most of y'all are still here and not necessarily on the app. And so once we download the app, uh, it'll be better. All right. So if y'all can hear me, tell me that you can hear me. All right. We just going we're going to fight through it. All right. All, all of us that's coming over. So I'm gonna give us an opportunity to get here. All right. Y'all make sure that the rest of them get here. All right. I'm, I may see, I don't know if this one's got it, got the ability to do so. All right. So this one here is not juiced up enough. But I may, I may try to get it done. All right, come on in, come on, come on, come on, come on. Take your time, take your time. Slow, slow down, slow, slow down. So he's trying to fall down. Don't fall. We fall. Don't fall down. Stay up. All right, don't fall down. Stay up. Oh my goodness, that's a different one. That's the reason why. That's the reason why. That may, that may help that a little bit. All right, let's see if this will help that a little bit. All right, if you can hear me, tell me you can hear me. Oh, I said, Mom, Mom Pete, say I can hear you. Morning, Mom Pete. Come on, been praying for, been praying for Auntie. Prayerfully, that's a that's a good thing. Y'all in my y'all in my private space. Got to get y'all all together. Amen. All right, come on, come on, come on. I, I told y'all do go text text the folk and tell them tell them where we are. Okay, tell them where we need to be. Get them get them on get them on for uh, for Facebook. Okay. I'm going to try to do something with uh, Instagram in a second, but uh, let's just get this going right now, okay? All right, all right, all right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to raise y'all up a little bit because I'm looking down at you, and I don't have to do that. All right, all right, look at that, look at that, look at that. All right, look at that, there we go, there we go. A little, little weird, but there we go. All right, so uh, this morning, again, welcome in, y'all. This is 8.15, and I think we're making this thing work. 8.15. <laughs> we making this thing work, all right? And uh, it is going to do what it's going to do. I probably won't be able to get on there, so we might as well, well go on. Actually, I won't be able to get on there because I have to have this set up there. All right, so good morning, good morning. Listen, if you have any prayer requests, go ahead and place that on the wall. That's the comment section. That's right there. Somebody will pray for you immediately. There are people that have already been trained 13 weeks, and we've added some more. Can we give it up for our prayer class, our most recent prayer class that has finished? What a powerful group. Now, that's a powerful group of people. Now, every, everybody that's gone through uh, has a unique uh, gifting, but that group, I'm telling you, they got something, they got some on them. We better watch them. All right. Uh, also, uh, we're finishing up. We got a couple classes left with our practical ministry training course, and I'm excited about that. Uh, that is bananas. And coming up on September 13th and 14th, coming up September 13th to 14th. Now, listen, I have taken a $1,200 class and cut it all the way down to a tithe, a 10 percent of it, uh, so that we can get in uh, as many young couples that uh, young couples. Well, you, it's not about age, but you're. Well, what I'm saying is that if you are not married. Um, Take the course, all right? Uh, I'm going to do what takes about 10 weeks of premarital preparation and put it in two day, a two-day intensive. Now, what that really means is that, and I'll tell them there, that it's two days uh, that, that you're, you're not getting, you're not getting um, this uh, a year of planning ahead of uh, being married. Uh, but you're getting all of the tools. I'm gonna give you all. I'm gonna give them all to you. Okay, 
uh, for $125. I'm going to give them all to you so you can register. Now, we also say that it's good uh, for those that need a tune-up, if you need a tune-up, to go back and review some of the tools. If you didn't get a chance to, to get those tools, to go back and review them. So, from on September 13th to 14th, I'm, I'm going to do a two-day intensive, Friday night um, uh, and then Saturday morning uh, till, till midday, all right? So it's a, it's a commitment. And, and, and on top of that, on Sunday morning, if you want to get married uh, in our third experience, hey, it's going to be uh, an opportunity for you to get married. So invite your family, your friends. Uh, we've done it many times. We've done it in setup. We've done it in Bible study. We've done it on a Saturday morning uh, for impact breakfast. Before impact breakfast, we, listen, we, we'll get you married, all right? Uh, but we want you to have the tools. You get the tools. You get to work the tools. Uh, you get to take some uh, uh, some tune-up sessions uh, after that, but make sure you register for that. If you are a couple and you feel like you just want to go back and, and redo the tools, uh, I encourage you to go. It's going to be a group setting. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Uh, and then you actually won't have to sit in all, all 10 of those sessions, okay? You'll get it done. Now, it's going to be it's going to be work. It, it's not going to be a, you know, a sleepy, uh, we're going to clap, clap, laugh, laugh. Now, it won't be that. It's going to be work, okay? <laughs> all right, y'all ready to go? Uh, let's get it. Let's get it. Don't forget now, y'all pray for Cedric. Uh, and that and He's ready for every opportunity. And then y'all pray for Mother Carolyn because she was the first one to get Jane. James, the fourth chapter, verses 11 and 12, that's your inspiration today. And since she was the first one to write down the word of God, then I want y'all to, to make this prayer that the word of God uh, comes in her life first before any other word. Now, she lived like that already, but I want y'all to pray it anyway. <laughs> All right, good stuff. Let's go. Uh, hey, the, the few of us that are here, we're going to go and get it. All right, so it says that do not judge. This is James 4 and 11. This is your inspiration. It says 11 and 12. It says, do not speak evil of one another, brethren. He who speaks evil of a brother and judges his brother speaks evil of the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge. Come on. All right, do not speak evil of one another, brethren. He who speaks evil of a brother and judges his brother speaks evil of the law. It says, do not speak evil of one another. Evil here, as James is talking about it, is screaming and yelling, fussing and fighting, arguing. And then it says, speaking negatively about a brother. Now, this is James. We know that James is talking to Jewish converts, all right? He's talking to those that are walking in or just now starting to walk in this a thing as a believer or Christianity. Okay. So he's, he's talking to them. So he's not talking to, he's not talking to somebody that, you know, he's not talking to a Western believer. He's talking to a brand new, this is the first time ever hearing this. All right. So he's at the beginning of it. All right. Uh, so what that means is when he started to talk here about the law, he's not telling them to that you've got to do the law accordingly. What he's saying is that you know the law, you know what the law says, and you who are doing this are even violating the law. The law tells you that you cannot judge. You don't have a right to judge. And therefore, if you do judge, you're breaking the law. So that's what he's saying. He said, listen, even... Even if you, for y'all, y'all know the law, you breaking the law, judging each other like this. Oh, and, and their judgment, and this judgment is to have a presupposition of someone. You are determining them. Uh, how we believe is that we don't have a right to judge, condemn. Uh, we don't have a right to put someone in hell or out of it or in heaven or out of it. We focus in on making sure that we express what, jo what James is saying here. Uh, according to the law, you're supposed to love. So this is what that's saying. When he's talking to brethren, he's talking about Jewish, he's talking to the Jewish uh, converts. All right. Uh, then we look at, he says that he who speaks evil of his brother uh, speaks evil of the law and judges the law that he's above the law. So that's what James is saying. James is saying, you're arrogant. How, how do you, how do you suppose to put yourself in this position? Uh, who do you think you are? Y'all put that in the comment section. Who do you think you are? Uh, it's a, it's amazing to me that we have so many believers that walk around, so many believers that walk around and they feel entitled, uh, that like they have some spiritual aptitude above everyone else. 
and criticize and judge. In fact, you can see uh, even in the social media realms, even the ones that were previous critics are now saying we're creating a critical environment uh, in our interactions with brothers and sisters. I mean, I see it. I hear it. Um, uh, some of my favorites, Jackie Hill Perry and Preston Perry, um, they're even going around talking about, hey, man, we spend a lot of time judging each other. What is going on with all this? You don't have to believe the same thing that another one believes, but we don't need to be putting that in the public and making ourselves, because this is what, this is what they're saying. I, I said this a couple of years ago. I said they're building a platform on criticizing somebody else that's in the in the family, in the kingdom. What kind of raggedy life you got that you would spend time, that you would spend time making a platform criticizing other believers? We got to fix that. You got you to gotta fix that. James is telling you this. Who do you think you are? That's what he's saying. He says in verse number 12, he says, there is only one lawgiver. You are not above the law. You're not above. You're, you're not that. You're not that. <laughs> Somebody say, you're not that. Don't think you're that. You're not that. He says, there is only one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. You ought to give God praise for that. There's only one that's able to save and to destroy. Who are you to judge another? Now, they may go and find a whole bunch of scripture, but you can still bring them back to this one. You can even tell them that, listen, humility is the way uh, to the Father. <laughs> humility is the way uh, for exhortation. Love, lo love is going to do it. Uh, stop spending time. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Your motivation, I was about to do it, your motivation. Don't spend time speaking against each other and hollering with each other. Don't spend time. Speaking against. Listen, let me get you right. Let me get you. Let me get you together right here too. The little bitty quirks that y'all got that you, you that you that you the little in your windows. You, you you're really not. I ain't talking about nobody, but and I ain't say no words. But you gave all the facial expressions, all the in your windows, and the mm -hmm, and the child pleases, and the hey dog man, I hey man, don't, don't put me in that. All of that. All of that is going to be judged. All that's going to be judged too. Y'all, don't just, the easiest thing is, if you don't like something that somebody did, or you don't like something that somebody said, or you don't like, just keep your mouth and your facial expressions and in your windows. And don't, don't hey, I know some of y'all right now, that's my, my facial expressions. You, what I'm going to do about them? Yeah. Uh, get that together. You got to be able to have a, 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 a tight face. What does this do? It tells the enemy of the family, the enemies of the kingdom, that we still tight. The family has issue. I get that. But it tells the enemy that the kingdom is tight. Are you representing the kingdom or are you representing yourself? Is this about the kingdom or is it, is it, is it about yourself? Right? Come back here. So here it is this says, don't spend time speaking against each other and hollering with each other. Hollering with each other. Trying to prove who right and who not. Uh, and he says, you know the law doesn't even allow you to do that. <laughs> who do you think you are parading around like you are a judge? Able to condemn each other. No, there is only one judge. Y'all want me to read it again? Don't spend time speaking against each other and hollering with each other. Uh, you know the law doesn't even allow you to do that. Who do you think you are parading around like you are a judge, able to condemn each other? No, there's only one judge. <laughs> you got it? So here's your application. Your application today. Check yourself. That's it. Check yourself. That's it. <laughs> the application today. Check. Now, check yourself. Check yourself and see. If your heart is aligned with his word, check yourself and see if your heart is aligned with his word. All right, now get out, get out your journal. I'm using this digital thing and it's uh, it's pretty fly, uh, but I want you to get out your journal. If you, if you got your, your pen and paper, it's, it's good for you. All right, today I'm using this digital thing. Uh, this is what I want you to write. This, it, it, this is what I want you to post. You ready? Check yourself. 
and see if your heart is aligned with the kingdom. Check yourself and see if your heart is aligned with the kingdom. Y'all, that's, that's applicable in every area. That's applicable in every area. We have got to, we have got to choose the kingdom, right? There are things that will draw you into your flesh. Um, there are things that will, that will, will uh, uh, creep into your soulish realm and try to destroy you. Always know that you have a place and a savior. You have someone that loves you, that will make room for you to have the opportunity to repent and to return. Don't spend time. Don't spend time arguing and hollering with each other. Don't, that's wasted time and breath and words. Spend time assuring that God uh, and your heart is aligned together. Can I pray for you? All right, because I'm going I'm to pray for you. Uh, no, nobody's exempt from this. None of you. None of us. Nobody. We are all able to be convicted here. And we all should. So my prayer this morning is actually going to be a prayer of repentance. I won't keep you long, but I'm definitely going to pray for you. All right? Father, in Jesus' name, thank you so much this morning that you have allowed us to come before you and to present to you this opportunity that we have to bring you glory and honor with our living and our lives. And so, Father, uh, we give you praise. We glorify your name. Uh, we lift you high. We magnify you. You're the great I am. You're the great God who loves us and sees us and knows us. You're the one who understands our ways. You understand the, the way that we are made and wired because you did it. And so we thank you. We understand, God, that your word here through uh, the Apostle James is very clear. Why are we spending time making sure that we are above each other when your word clearly tells us, God, that we are to work together as one body with each other. Help us, God. Give us the wisdom to do so. Pour out your wisdom. Your word says that you would not withhold it from us. Show us, God, the ways uh, that are pleasing unto you. And God, we repent right now, this morning. Forgive us for the times that we have allowed our emotions to have rule. Forgive us for the opportunities, God, that we, we fail to take to exit moments. And we entered in. God, to screaming and hollering, fussing and fighting, exalting ourselves above each other, criticizing, becoming critical, gossiping, uh, speaking uh, ill towards and about one another. God, uh, facial expressions to express our displeasure and or to give innuendos to indicate, God, some kind uh, of position and God, so that it would place us in some form of status. God, I, we don't know all of the reasons. Those are just a few. God, we repent. Forgive us. Your word says that, that Jesus' blood paid the total price. And God, we don't want to desecrate. We're, we're not repeating, but God, we are definitely, God, repenting. We thank you. And thank you for the alignment. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing it to our understanding so that we will not get lost in the moment. God, we give you praise and honor. God, we ask that if there's any sick among us, that you would heal them from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet. We ask, Father God, if there, if there are any, Lord God, that are on their deathbed, that if it's not their time, that you would call uh, the death angel to pass by, pass over. Uh, we plead the blood of Jesus over them and that they will rise up fully alert and aware, uh, reconciled to the health in their body that is what you have desired. For you said that you want us to prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers. And so, God, we give you glory for it. We give you praise for it. We give you thanks for it this morning. God, we give you honor this morning. Magnify you, oh great God, that you are. Thank you for this morning. Thank you for the technical difficulties. Thank you for the Wi-Fi uh, issue. Thank you for the opportunity to even get back into this space. We, your people, need you in this hour. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. 
Glory to God. Amen. Listen here, y'all. I don't know if y'all have been paying attention, but I need y'all to make sure that y'all pay attention, all right? God is trying to get a message to us, the body of Christ, and we want to make sure that we're there. So meet me this Sunday. I'm back in the, I'm back at the house. Meet me this Sunday, uh, 845, 1015, and 12 o'clock. Uh, we're going to jump right back into this It's Time, this faith series, to make sure that you get it. We got about four or five more lessons left to go uh, since y'all want to act up. Uh, on Sundays when I'm, y'all got to get it together. You understand me? <laughs> All right, so we're going to continue the lesson series. Remember, your breakthrough seed, uh, that's from uh, last Sunday, this Sunday, and the 8th. We're giving our breakthrough seed, what we believe God has uh, impacted our lives and our minds with that we want to impact our lives with. And so we show a seed at the end of the fast. We've done, done it always. We've just never done it in an extended form uh, because I believe that's that's the case. This is time for you to pray and to, to chew on what it is that God wants you to give, right? This is not our big give that, that we have. Uh, this, this is not any of those things. It's just what you're believing God for, uh, it is a seed that's being sown. All right. And then make sure impact, impact. Where my impact folk at? Where my men at on Friday, September the 20th, Friday, September the 20th will be our impact night. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be bananas impact night. Make sure y'all show up because it's really going to be special. And, uh, I want y'all to be there. Okay. <laughs> Listen, y'all, this has been your Everyday Until 8 a.m. experience, and I'm Pastor D. Thank you so much for joining us, and uh, and if the Lord shall say the same, we believe that it will. We'll meet you back here tomorrow morning at the same time. That's 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. All right, y'all got it? I hope y'all got it. All right, peace. I'm going to get y'all off here. Get off here. Peace. I'm sorry for those of you that normally get that. <laughs>